Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How is everything? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les va? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? I am tired. <laughs> You're tired? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can listen. You're like, like, you, you are like, like super tired. You got a hard day, I guess. Supongo que un día super complicado, right? It generally happens, right? But the good thing is that we're in the middle of the week, so two more days and you got uh, your, your weekend off, right? So that is going to be uh, great, right? That is going to be like, yeah, more than great. All right, so, right, so people are just getting connected. All right, so we don't have any issue in here. All right, guys, I'm just loading <laughs> the attendance place. I don't know why this is like so slow. Ah, okay, so, but welcome back to another video conference. Tonight, we're going to have a very interesting class. Uh, if you remember, yesterday we finished uh, the week number one. And basically, tonight, we are studying the second week of this module. So that's going to be great for everybody, right? So tonight, we are going to be discussing a very different topic in comparison to the one that we were working on last class, right? So, but before starting with, you know, like the topic that we have for tonight, if you remember yesterday, we were doing a, uh, a couple of activities, right, uh, as a feedback from the previous classes, but we did not check the activities. We just uh, basically uh, did the activities, but we didn't check them, right? So tonight, before starting with the class content that we're going to have tonight, we are going to check what we did yesterday, right? So that's going to be the first thing that we're going to be uh, doing. So just give me one second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so there were two different, let me see, activities that we were doing, right? So it was this one. Give me one second. I am going to... Here it is. All right, great. So I'm gonna share this. Okay. And then we are going to pass the attendance list. Vamos a esperar a que más se conecten para pasar la lista de asistencia. Así que por ahora, let's check this information that you did yesterday, right? So this is the first activity that you were working on right in the creation of the questions right starting with uh with the answers so i don't know guys if you if did we check this one revisamos esta parte no no right we didn't do it okay great so let's start checking them all right as we got the name here. Okay, Edwin, thank you for letting me know. Okay, great. So, if you have the answer that says, I have 50 boxes of thread, what is the question? ¿Alguien me podría colaborar con la pregunta? How is it? How many boxes of three ah. do you have? How many boxes 
do you have? Okay, very good. So we got it like this. Now let's do the second one. In the second one, it says they have some floor cleaners. They have some floor cleaners. Parria, what do you have in that one? Teacher, yo como se vino el agua, no, no terminé eso. Lo estaba de oyente. Ah, ok, ok. Pero, sería, um, how many some floor cleaners do they have? Vamos a ver. Creo. How many? Usted cree que es así. Some floor cleaners. Do they Do. have? Like this? Creo. Okay. All right. <laughs> We're just oh. going to... Evelyn, do you agree with him? ¿Está de acuerdo con él? El some, some, no. All right. So I have to eliminate some? Yes. Ah, okay. So in this case, I got to eliminate some. How many floor cleaners do they have? Like this? Is yes. that correct like this? Okay, great. Yeah, basically in this case, guys, this is the way, right? Esta es básicamente la forma en cómo debe ir la pregunta. Yeah, eliminating the quantifier, porque el quantifier solo va en la respuesta. Right? So how many floor cleaner, cleaners do they have? Oh, you got it like that, yeah. right? Good. Thank you for Ria and Evelyn. Now, let's jump on to the third one. Okay, for the third one, I want Dennis to help me out. The answer says, he needs two gallons of gas for the left. What's the question, Dennis? My question is, how many gallons do you need? Uh, how many gallons do you need? Así lo tiene. Eh, das lo puse yo. Ah, ah. Das. Like this, Danny? Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, Selena, do you agree with uh, Dennis? Mm. ¿Está de acuerdo con Dennis? Yes, 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 yes. Creo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo lo tengo diferente. Oh, okay. Bueno, pero igual no sé si está bien también. <laughs> Okay, ¿cómo lo tiene usted? How many gallons of gas needs? Needs. Nada no, más así, ajá. Mm -hmm. Ok, pero necesitaríamos... Imagina que lo de él, ajá, sí, está bien. Sí, ah, sí. Vamos a ver. Isabel, ¿qué do you sí think? ¿Es that correct, Isabel? All right, vamos a ver. I love you. I love you too. Teacher. Yeah. Este, pero el, el da sí se usa cuando habla de he, she, it, ¿no? Entonces okay. sí está correcto. La sí. pregunta está correcta. Eh, solo que yo tengo dudas porque a, a mí, no sé, tengo como esa pequeña confusión. El... How many es para lo que es contable. Uh -huh. Entonces, es que a veces me equivoco en eso. Ok, pero, pero toda la pregunta está correcta. Después de oh, entrar, no falta que no le faltaría como el, la cantidad. Chugado. No. no. Sí, porque la cantidad sería para re la respuesta. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Sonia? ¿Qué dijo Sonia? 
How many gallons does he need? Ah. No podemos usar that when you. Ok, good. Aquí tenemos sí, la sí. confusión. En vez de you, sería he. Right? Sí. So you see? How many gallons does he need? Pero acá tenemos que ser más específicos. How many gallons of gas yes. does of he gas. need? <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. And oh. it, the question is like this, right? So this is like the point, right. right? Okay, great. Now, let's jump on to the next one. Ayúdenme con esta. Dice, we want six packs of butter bars. Butter bars. So what's the, 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 the answer? I mean, the question in this case. How many? How many? Uh, okay. All right. Okay. How many? How many? Mm -hmm. Uh, of okay, let's say how many bar do we want? Ok, aquí podemos poner we, también you? podemos poner you. Si tienen cualquiera de los dos es correcto. Do you want o do we want? Ok, vamos a poner así. So, with both ways, it is possible to you, all right, when doing it, right? So, just remember, with both ways, it is possible. Ok. Now, the last one, it says... Ana and Hugo need a lot of water. So, what's the question in there? How much? Ah, okay. How much? How much? Water. Okay. How much, how much water mm -hmm. do they, do they need? Okay. need? Okay, very good. Do they need, right? Ahí ya estamos reemplazando la palabra Ana en Hugo por el pronombre they, right? Since it is a plural form, so we can use it that way. And it is correct. Okay, very good. So how much water do they need? I mean, Ana and Hugo need a lot of water, right? So this is like the answer that you got on that. Okay, very good. Now, we're going to jump on to the next one. Vamos a hacer ahora la siguiente. Gonna clear up this one. And we're going to check this one. Remember, acá básicamente lo que teníamos que hacer es hablar sobre las obligaciones que nuestro compañero suele tener, right? And I told you guys just to write down three activities that this person has to do and three activities that this person doesn't have to do, right? So three and three positives and negatives. All right, so let's try to check that one, but I'm gonna stop uh, sharing here and I'm gonna go up and pass the attendance list because I think it is time, all right, for that. So just give me one second and just go, go ahead and pass the attendance list. And then we are going to continue with this. Let me see, Selena Janet. Present, dice. Ok, good. Cristian Eduardo. Present. Ok, nice. Denis Gerardo. Present. Ah, ok, very good. Uh, Diana Carolina. Ok, so she's there, but she does an answer. Diego José. Present. Ok, good. Edwin Ernesto. All right. Va de camino. Edwin Leonel. Sí, señor, él dijo que venía a trabajar. 
Ajá, exacto. Ok. Presa, teacher. Ah, ok, good. Presa. Uh, ok, good. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Ok, nice. Griselda Yamilet. Here. Ok, excelente. Jorge Antonio. Present. Ok, good. Let me see. Karen Lisset. Right. Carla Patricia. Present. Ok, good. Luis Humberto. Present. Ok. Norma Yamilet. Present. Ok. Paulina Olimpia. Present. Una mujer de verdad. Ya va a empezar. ¿Pero Está buena la novela. Ok, let's move. Ronald Ulises. Ay, ve, imagínate toda la angustia anda hablando. Ok, good, let's move. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Ok, nice. Walter Enrique. Present. Ok, good. Janira Isabel. Present. Ok, good. And we got the last one. Brenda Elizabeth. All right, so Brenda is not here yet. Ok, good. Let's start checking the last activity. Before ¿Y yo? starting. Ah. Y a mí no, no me pronunció. Yes, I said, Wendy Beatriz. Sí, no escuché. <laughs> yes. Before Isabel, ok, ya la tengo acá, no se preocupe. Ok, okay great. All right, so now let's start over, guys, with the checking of the activity, the last activity that you were doing yesterday night. Ok, and I'm going to start with Evelyn. Evelyn, who were you working in that activity with? Con, uh, con Norma y Diego. All right, so with Norma and Diego. ¿Podría leerme las que usted tiene, por favor? Las mías. Yeah, yours. Las de mi compañero, no. Las mías. Okay. Uh, I have to watch, Floyd. Okay, oh. continue, continue. <laughs> I have to watch Chloe on Saturday. I okay. have to take class from Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. I don't have to work on Sunday. Okay. I don't have to go to bed early on weekend. Ah, okay, very good. All right, that's nice. Good. Uh, you told me it was Norma, right? Also. Norma, Norma, Diego. Okay. okay, good. Then Norma and the last one, Diego. Sí, Norma and Diego. Okay. Yo tengo, I have to go to the supermarket on Sunday. Okay. I have to clean the kitchen in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't have to study on the weekend. Okay, good. I don't have to wash my cell phone in class. <laughs> okay, all right. Very good. Thank you, Norma. Now, uh, Diego. I'm going to prepare my lunch. I'm going to go work tomorrow. I'm not going to walk. I'm not going to study right now. Ok, técnicamente están correctas, solo que me las hizo en futuro y eran con have to. Well, that's okay, Diego. That's okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. Uh, Mi compañero, no me he preguntado. <laughs> Lo que pasa es que esa, esa tarea la dejamos, que no la terminamos en la clase. 
Pero Diego quizás se quedó trabajando por eso. Eh, con Norma sí trabajamos hoy en la tarde. Pero Ajá. Diego le escribimos y él quizás estaba ocupado, estaba trabajando por eso. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Good. Sí, ahí se ha de haber confundido. Pero es ok, right? So, but at least he did the, the sentences. Ok, good. Thank you to you three guys. Now, Jorge, who were you working with in that activity? Ah, you didn't finish them. ¿Cuántas hicieron? Griselda, y no los alcanzo el tiempo, teacher, y apenas terminamos las preguntas que hoy hemos terminado y comenzando la clase. Ok. A eso íbamos y no las alcanzamos a terminar. Ah, ok, ok. So, pero no hicieron ninguna entonces. No, teacher, a eso íbamos cuando los volví a llamar, que ya eran las nueve. Mm. <risa> okay. Teacher, yo hice las mías, pero así como, como las ha hecho Evelyn. Y no. Uh, ok, can you read it? ¿Me las podría leer, por favor? Yes. I have to wake up early every day. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I have to cook dinner on Saturday. Okay. And I have to go to the supermarket on Friday. All right. Very good. Those ones were the positive, right? Solo hizo positivas, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. All right. No problem. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Ronald. Yes. All right. Do you have yours? Tiene, eh, tiene las suyas? Yes. Okay. Read them, please. Uh, <laughs> pero yo lo hice con otro nombre. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, el nombre de mis compañeros con los que trabajé. <laughs> Good. Let's, let's, let's read it. Okay. Eh... Uh, Luis had to get out early tomorrow. Luis has uh, to. Okay. Uh, well, Luis has to take a bus tomorrow. Okay. Y en las negativas puse el otro, el Christian. No, <laughs> read them. Uh, Christian don't have to study tonight. Ok, ahí, ahí habría un cambio. En vez de don't, es doesn't. Doesn't. Yeah. Uh, la siguiente es doesn't have to drink coffee. And Christian doesn't have to drink coffee. Mm, ok, all right. Very good. So that's the way you got it. All right. Thank you, Ronald. Yeah, at least you, you got them on third person. Good. Christian, did you do yours? Um, okay. Um, I have a, I have a, mo a bicycle. Um, okay. But la estructura acá, tenemos que llevar have to y luego un verbo adicional, Christian. Que indique obligación. Entonces estoy algo perdido, dicho. Um, por ejemplo, estamos si está... hablando de tener. ¿Ah? Por ejemplo, puede decir así: mire. I have to ride my bicycle, for example. Right? Ah, means como que tengo que montar mi bicicleta, como si fuese una obligación, right? Uh -huh. right. All right. So, okay. um, I have I have get up uh, up four a.m. Okay, I have to get up at four a.m. Okay. All right. I have to cook my dog. Of mm. my dog. Okay. Okay. Every day. <laughs> All right, good. 
Ahora las negativas. Las negativas. Lo que no tiene que hacer. Ok. Papi. I have not watched TV. Ah, en ese caso sería. En... I don't. I don't. I don't, watch TV. I don't have to watch TV. Ok. I don't have to watch TV. Ajá. Um, I don't have... Uh -huh. I don't have to sleep in the class. <laughs> okay. Ok, ok. Good example. Yeah, you don't have to sleep in the class. Good. Um, finish this. <laughs> Solo oh. esa hice. All right. No problem. You did them good. Okay, Eric. <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. Okay, thank you, Christian. Uh, let me see. Parrilla, what about yours? Did you do them? Teacher, yo lo hice igual como, como decía el, la actividad de que poner lo que tenía y no tenía que hacer dos compañeros en ah, el trabajo. Ah, with the classmates. Okay, good. If you started with the classmates, oh, great. Let's, let's start doing them. Entonces, las positivas serían Ronald has to work tomorrow. Okay. Eh, Ronald, Ronald has to sleep at night. Eh, negativas. Christian doesn't have to play on Monday. Mm -hmm. Christian doesn't have to use the cell phone in class. Mm, okay, okay. Good, good. All right. There, okay. Thank you, Parilla. Uh, let me see who's next. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, Olympus is a listener. Carla, can you please read yours? Yes, teacher. Yo trabajé con Wendy y Selina. Y yo las hice así como usted dijo. Una y una, dos de cada una, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. la positiva, digamos que son. <coughs> Wendy has to study English in the morning. Uh -huh. Selena has to go shop on Sunday. Las negativas son Wendy doesn't have to cook today. Uh -huh. Selena doesn't have to iron. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Now, uh, Selena. Teacher, yo, yo no hice eso que... <laughs> es que como ya era tarde ok, good ella good. quizá la hizo del trabajo pero yo no tengo chance en mi trabajo <laughs> ok, ok a ver los demás confirmen es cierto que no tiene chance en el trabajo ella <laughs> mira están diciendo que no no, no, no es problema. verdad <laughs> It's okay, no problem. Porque la perquita estaba haciendo una en esos momentos. Okay, no problem, Selena. It's okay. Okay, good. ¿Qué dijo Sonia? En esos momentos en el trabajo ayuda necesitamos. <laughs> hey, by the way, you still las hizo. All right, can you read them? Sonia. Hola. Ah, ¿usted las hizo? Yo las hice referente a mí. Ok, good. Let's I had to go work the Monday at Friday. Uh -huh. I had to clean the, me, my house. Mm -hmm. I don't have to make noise at home. Mm -hmm. I don't have to leave. My clothes, clothes, or the bed. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Wendy. I had to clean every day. Mm -hmm. I had to get up in the morning to go to work. All right. I had to cook for 
linear negative she doesn't have to be late for work mm -hmm. he doesn't have to sleep on the job okay very good okay great thank you now uh walter Mi compañera fue nuestra amiga Brenda. Ok. Y creo que son, creo que era Sonia, la otra. Ok, good. Pues yo hice dos, pero bueno, las positivas son referentes a mí uh -huh. y las negativas y con mi compañera. Ok, let's read them that way. Ok, listo. Had to study day. I had to bathe in the morning. In the morning. Uh, la negative. Brenda doesn't have to get early. And Brenda doesn't have to drink coffee all the time. All the time. Okay. All right. Brenda doesn't have to drink coffee all the time. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Walter. Now, uh, let me see, Diego. Huh? <laughs> Diego, are you there? Sí. All right, can you read yours? ¿Cómo? Uh, ¿Podría leerme las suyas? Ya las leí. Ah, you got them? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, thank you. Let me see who hasn't. ¿Quién no lo ha hecho? ¿Leonel? Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't, uh, listen, Leonel. Leonel, are you there? Uh, yes. Okay. Este, pero yo le hice no, respecto a mí también. Okay. Bueno, y una así en general. Mm -hmm. <coughs> no puede leer. I have to drink more water. I oh. have to clean my skin. Mm -hmm. Esto sería. I don't have to walk to work. Y we don't have to run in my workplace. All right, so we don't have to work to. to I mean, we don't have to run, right? Yes. Okay. Tengo que correr en, en la planta. <laughs> Okay, that's maybe maybe a weird. All right, but that's okay. There you go. Good. Uh, all right. Who else is missing? Griselda, you participated already. Ya participó. Because I don't remember. Sí. Ah, okay. You did it. Okay, great. Let me see. Two, 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 two. Isabel, you too. Ya participó también. Because I don't remember. I think you have it. Not the Okay, good. Let's go into that. Teacher, yo no las hice ayer porque no escuchaba nada y no entendí por qué se vino la lluvia. Pero ah. las hice ahorita, no sé si van a estar bien. Se las voy a leer y si están mal, se corrigen. Okay, good. No problem. Eh, solo hice cuatro... Yes, I have to wash my team every day. I have to clean in my house uh, it, every it, day. Okay, in that case, instead of cleaning, only clean. Clean. Clean, please. Yes, sorry. Clean. Okay. Así, lo tengo. En negativo es, I don't have to cook every day. Y I don't have, I don't have to sleep more eight hours. Uh, more than eight hours. Le faltaría then. T-H-A-N. Then. 
eight hours. Okay. The H A N M D. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. I think everybody has already participated. Creo que con estos ya serían todos. Vamos a ver. Ah, I mean, Paulina, send them on, on, on the chat. Let me see. Paulina says, I had to clean the work area. I had to drink water every day. Okay, good. Yeah, everybody got to drink water every day. I don't have to watch a uh, cell phone in the work. Hey, no solo in the work, también en la clase, Selena. And I don't have to run in the workplace. Ah, okay. <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué me da la impresión de que hay más de alguno que ha corrido en el trabajo? Y por eso es que ponen eso. Y le han dicho, no, no tienes que correr. Ok, good. Dennis, let's go, Dennis. <laughs> I know. Ok. I okay. have to buy a new, a new cell phone. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok. I want to help to everyone. Ajá. Uh, las negativas. I don't help drink much coffee i don't have to drink much coffee. i don't have i don't have to eat bread okay i don't have to. i don't i don't have my thing okay. unnecessary <laughs> okay okay very good thank you dennis oh man that was funny all right very good now let's jump on to uh, the topic that we are going to be discussing uh, tonight. Uh, 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 just give me one second. I'm gonna show you a short presentation related to, related to the topic that we're gonna be discussing. All right, so basically this is tonight's topic all right and it says the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight guys it's going to be demonstrative pronouns right that's like the topic demonstrative pronouns have you ever heard this this kind of pronouns before Have you guys uh started this before? Do you know what what the most of the pronouns are? Mm -hmm. And you know to this tema? Or it's gonna be the first time. Okay, good. I guess it's the first time. All right. Let's jump onto onto this. It is that no, no son eso. Ya, dos one. Eso son. Eso son. Yeah. This, this, dos, that. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's the most relevant that we got in the class agenda? We got a short review from the previous topic, right? So something that we just did. Uh, now we're going to start uh, talking a little bit about uh, demonstrative pronouns, right, which is the topic of tonight. Then you guys are going to give me a couple of examples right after reading minds. And then you are going to go to work let's try to the market. We've got a couple of activities that we need to finish. Now, before starting with that, I broke you, right, useful vocabulary. Now, probably you <laughs> Will need the first word I got here is purchase. Purchase. What is purchase, guys? I don't know. Purchase. purchase. Purchase means compras. All right. That means compras. Y como verbo, y también significa comprar. Right. Purchase. Okay, great. That's the first one. Now the second one we got buy. 
Mm -hmm. Right. So everybody knows what is buy, right? So means comprar. Comprar. Yeah. Then you get the verb want. Right? Want. Querer. Exactly. Querer. That's querer algo, right? Then we got a credit card, right? Credit card. Everybody knows what is that? Yeah. Then we got a debit card, right? Something that you guys know already. Exactly. Order. So we got this one. Order. Como nombre significa or orden, right? Y como verbo. Ordenar. Ordenar. Exactly. Very good. Then we got the next one. Sell. Vender. Sell. Yes, correct. It sells means vender, right? And then we got the opposite of this. We got pay. What is pay? Exactly. Lo que no nos gusta, right? Nah. <laughs> Pero tiene que. <laughs> yeah. Si no, nos cortan la, la energía y todo. Si no. <laughs> Yes. El agua. El agua. El wifi. ¿Ah? El wifi. El wifi. That's true. That's true. <laughs> ah, man. Anyways. Okay. Great. So basically, we got that extra vocabulary that probably in the future we're going to have a couple of uh, examples. Okay. Now, let's start with the demonstrative pronouns. And we got in here a definition about this. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Selena, help me reading this short definition about demonstrative pronouns, please. Que le lea, teacher. Yes. And the most three pronouns is the pronouns used of by some time. Out. Out? Okay. The most three are. Okay, thank you. Listen up. It says, a demonstrative pronoun, it's basically a pronoun, used to point something out. ¿Qué significa point something out? Señalar algo, right? Un pronombre demostrativo, dice, es un pronombre usado para señalar algo, right? So basically, that's the main use of a demonstrative pronoun. And which ones are they? So, we got it this way. We got this and that for singular nouns, and we got these and those for plural nouns. So we got four in total. Tenemos cuatro en total, right? Remember, these and that are for singular nouns, and these and those are for plural nouns, right? So this is the way how you handle this ones. Right. Okay, great. Now let's just start over with this. So, ahora sí, ya se les se les hacen conocidos estas palabras. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey. So basically, that's the the proper uh, name of these words: demonstrative pronouns. Now well, we're gonna see them individually. All right, so this class. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's start with this. This. All right, and it says, Denise, help me out reading, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this is how things use for singular nouns that are cloth from use. From us. Ah. Okay. There you go. From us. us. Thank you, Denise. Now, listen up, guys. It says, um, this is often used for singular nouns that are close from us. ¿A qué nos referimos con eso? This is basically used, es usado para cosas que nosotros podemos tocar, algo que tenemos cerca. Right? Something that is very close from us and we can touch. In singular. For example, I can say, ah, this is a pen. Listen up. This is a pen. So you see, I got only one over here, right? And I am using is because it's part of the verb to be, right? Remember. Now, I can say, I mean, this is a computer, right? ¿Por qué puedo decir esto? Ah, porque está cerca de mí. Right. So I can touch my ex. This is my ex or what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. No, en este caso, en ese caso, como no la tiene cerca, Denise va a decir, that is my ex. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. That would be like, I mean, that is my ex with my ex friend. <laughs> okay. I don't have a comment. <laughs> no comments about it. Okay, good, good. All right, great. Let's continue with this. Let's take a look at a couple of examples that we got here related to this. All right. So, Wendy, help me read it, please. Computer is very fast. Okay, so you see, it's like, I mean, this computer is very fast. It's like, I mean, esta computadora, right, es bien rápida. So in this case, remember, this means este o esta. That's the translation that we got for this word. Este o esta. And remember, it's only and mainly used for singular nouns, right? It's just for singulares. Let's keep that on mind, okay? So we got another example here. Uh, Evelyn, let's read it, please. I want to buy this pair of shoes. Okay, there you go. So I want to buy this pair of shoes. It's like... I mean, quiero comprar este par de zapatos, right? So probably you are close from the pair of shoes that you liked it, right? So let's remember. And in there, we're talking about something in singular. Remember, these are used for singular. Yeah. Okay. Parrilla, help me read this one. She likes this. She likes this cell phone. Okay, very good. It says she likes this cell phone, right? This is like, I ah, mean, a ella le gusta este celular, right? There you go. So let's remember, we use this structure when basically you're talking about something that you have close from you and it's only one. It is singular, okay? Any, any question? Any question or doubt, oh, guys? Teacher. Uh -huh. Ese tam ese dis también se puede usar para presentarle a, a una persona a alguien. That's correct. Yes. That's correct. For example, uh, supongamos que usted, bueno, nos estamos conociendo, nos vemos en persona y justo está usted a la par de quién? Uh, Dennis, for example. Y usted me dice, hey, teacher, this is Dennis, right? So you can use it like that. 
Why? Hi, nice to meet you. Right? <laughs> nice to meet you too. All right. So, because it's close for you, right? Porque está cerca de usted. Entonces, más, más que todo por eso usamos uh, uh, this, this demonstrative pronoun, right? Okay. Great. Now, if everything is clear, let's jump on to the next one. And now we got that. That. That is translated as ese o esa. Right? O eso. Depending on the context that you have the sentence. All right. When do we use that? All right. So we got a short definition in here. Ronald, help me a reading, please. That is used with singular nouns that are apart from us and we can touch in the moment. Okay, very good. As it says, that is mainly used with singular nouns, right? That uh, are far from us and we cannot touch in the moment, right? So, básicamente es para cosas o personas que están lejos de nosotros, pero... In this case, it's when you talk about only one, something singular, right? So just imagine, I can say, with this, I can say, ah, this is a pencil, right? Pero imaginen, tiro el lapicero, right? Entonces ya luego yo no puedo decir, this is a pencil because I am far from, from the pen. So in that case, I can say, ah, that is a pen. I mean, eso es, o eso es un lapicero. So you say, yeah. far from me, and it's only one. It's singular, right? Yeah. So we got it like this. Uh, Griselda, help me read it, please. Griselda, you there? Sí. Okay, help me read in the example, please. That store is far from here. Okay, very good. So you see, that store is far from here. It's like, I mean, esa tienda está lejos de aquí, right? So you see, we are talking about only one store. So remember, we mostly use that for singular nouns only. All right, so we got another example. Carla, help me a reading, please. That TV is perfect for my sister. Okay, very good. That TV is perfect for my sister, right? So that TV is far from me, all right? Or for the person who is talking at the moment, right? Recuerden, acá es cuando hablamos de nombres o cosas en singular que están lejos, right? Good, and we got the last example here. Uh, let me see who can help me out on here. Mm -mm -mm. Leonel, help me out reading, please. I want to buy that car. Okay, very good. That's like, I mean, I want to buy that car, right? Excellent. Okay, good. Do you guys have any question with this? Any question related to uh, this relative pronoun? No. No, everything is clear. Okay, perfect. Let's move on. Now we got this. Y así tiene el mismo pronunciación que el otro, que el primero, right? This. But if you see, uh, the written form is different, right? So remember, here we use it, this. Okay, and when do we use Please. Please, yeah. Let's read it, please. 
This is used with plural noun plus for you. Okay, very good. From us. Okay. All right. It says, this is used with plural nouns close from us. Okay. If you remember the first relative pronoun, I mean, the most relative pronoun, it was this, right? And it was for singular noun, close from you. Now, here, we got this one. And this one is when we talk about something that we got close, that you can touch with your hands, but in plural, with plural nouns, okay? For example, supongamos que yo acá tengo dos lapiceros. So I can say, these are my pens. So now, if you take a look in here, ya no usamos is, usamos are. All right? So in that case, it's like when you use the word to be, right? Now, take a look at this example that we got here. Um, let me see. Leonel, help me read it, please. I need to send documents. Okay, very good. I need to send these documents, right? In class, please colleagues will not, will not pay attention in class. Okay, good. Yeah, that's true, Denise. Okay, great. So it says, right, I need to send these documents. That's like, ah, necesito enviar estos documentos. So in this case, it's like when we talk about something in plural and are close from us, right? Remember, they are close from us, no far. All right, so we got another example here. Oh my God, Brenda. Welcome, Brenda. No la había visto. Qué calladita entra. Okay, Brenda, help me out <laughs> reading this example, please. She has to buy these books. Okay, very good. So you see, she has to buy these books. I mean, it's like, uh, ella tiene que comprar estos libros. Mm -hmm. so you see, basically in there, we're talking about something in plural, right? Okay, so we got the last example sentence in here. Let me see who it's here. Isabel, let's read it, please. Sí, solo una pregunta antes de leerla. Uh -huh. Al final, solo una pregunta antes de leerla. Al final es the new speakers. Yeah, the new speakers. New speakers. Okay. New speakers. He wants one hundred dollars to buy this new speaker. Okay, very good. There you go. All right, so he wants uh one hundred dollars to buy these new speakers, right? Ah, uh, it's como el quiere cien dólares para comprar estos nuevos o estas nuevas o bocinas nuevas, right? Speakers, in this case, it relates to bocinas. Okay. Very good. So, but if you take a look in there, guys, remember, we use these for plural nouns that are close from us, right? Now, let's jump on to the last part. Oh, I don't know if you're taking notes about this. No sé si están tomando notas con relación a esto. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes. You know when you finish. Let me know when you okay. Ayudar a la salud de los esfuerzos, el 
Finish. Okay, great. Thank you. So I guess everybody just finished. Now let's move on. Okay, so we got the last one here. Those. This is like the, the pronunciation of this word. Those. Okay. So in what situations can we use those? All right, so we use those on these situations over here. Edwin Ernesto, can you please help me reading that part? Those is used with plural noun far from us. Okay, thank you. So as he said, listen, those is mostly used with plural nouns that are far from us, right? That are not close, right? So those, it's basically translated as esos or esas. That's the translation that we got of this uh, demonstrative pronoun, okay? Just remember that part. Now, we got a couple of examples. Dennis, read the first one. We need to re we need to prepare those documents. Okay, very good. It says we need to prepare those documents, right? I mean, necesitamos preparar esos documentos. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que posiblemente no estamos cerca de esos documentos, right? So that's the reason why we got those, you know, these. All right, so we got this one also. Norma, let's read the second example. She has to buy those shoes. Okay, very good. She has to buy those shoes. All right, so we got another one in here. Uh, let me see who. Diego, let's read the last example. He likes to spend time with those new employees. Okay, very good. As it says, right? He likes to spend time with those new employees. I mean, that's like, I mean, a él le gusta pasar tiempo con esos nuevos empleados. That's what it says. So you see? So in that case, we're talking about something plural, right? Okay, great. Until here, guys, do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá? Something that you may not have clear. No? Okay, perfect. So if you don't have any question, it's because everything is super clear, All right? Bueno, si todo está super Teacher. Yeah. En, en cuanto a los pronombres, no hay ninguna, eh, digamos, estructura en cuanto para realizar las oraciones. No, ahí va a depender de qué tipo de oración va usted a, a, sobre qué va a hablar. Así va a variar la estructura. No hay algo este, meramente establecido. Uh -huh. ah, Por eso. Okay. Yeah, that's the reason why. Por eso no, no, no les coloque ningún tipo de estructura que deben seguir, right? Porque estos pronombres no son meramente eh, estáticos, en que solo se pueden de un modo, right? So you can have different... Uh, Example sentences with with the structures. Okay. Okay. Here you go. All right. Great. Now. Oh. Okay. Great. 
If you don't have questions, ahora sí vamos a probar si es verdad que hemos entendido estos cuatro demonstrative pronouns. Podrían ser, hacerme un ejemplo por cada uno de ellos. One example using this, one example using that, one example using these for plural nouns, and one example using those. Okay? Let's go there. When you finish, let me know, please. Just let me know when you finish, please. Right, so if you have any question, let me know. Have you finished, Parrilla? Finished, teacher. Okay, thank you, Christian. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Para los que van terminando, me lo hacen saber, please. Finish. Okay, okay. Thank you. 
Finish teacher. All right, so perfect. So I guess everybody's just uh finishing. Now let's uh start checking. Quien quiere ser el primero to read the examples that you guys have. Okay, Christian, let's go. Okay. Um, I like this potato. <laughs> I like this potato. Those, okay. Those tables are very expensive. Okay. Uh, this apple is delicious. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, Uh, that cup is small. Okay, very good. Thank you, Christian. Now, uh, Jorge, you raise the hand also. Uh, this camera is very nice. Mm -hmm. The house is very far. This cat is a lot. Uh, those chair are blue. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, let me see. Sonia? No comprendí cómo eran los ejemplos. Uh, como los que teníamos en la pantalla, Sonia. Un ejemplo con this, un ejemplo con that, uno con those, y el otro uh, con this, pero de plural. Um, ok Ok, cool Hágalos y, y luego Al final la voy a dejar, ok Hágalos despacio para que eh, You got an idea y Si no los he determinado y, y al final me las va a leer, ok Ok, teacher All right. Thank you All right. Walter Todavía lo estoy haciendo, teacher mm, Ok Deme otros dos minutos Ok All right, Evelyn. Me falta la última. Tengo nada más. Uh, this story is blue. The car, no sé si aquí es al revés, car black, black car. Black car. Black car. That black car is big. Okay. Uh, she has to read this book. Y la última, um, dos, ah, espérese, dos, dos, shoes I like. Ok, oh, I like those shoes. I like those shoes. Oh. Ok, very good, Evelyn, thank you, Ronald. Yeah, um, this is my computer. Okay. That is my dog, Simba. <laughs> okay. Luis has to buy those headphones. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Ronald has to buy these video games. <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> ah, chinga. Y hasta obligación es con los video games. Right? You see, has to buy these video games. Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Ronald. Now, Wendy. Teacher, aún no termino, me falta la última. Ok, good. Termino la luego, vuelvo con usted. Parrilla. Ok. This car is very slow. Mm -hmm. I want to buy that TV. Ok. He has to buy these pencils. We need to prepare those emails. Emails. All right, so we need to prepare those emails. All right, there you go. Thank you. Dennis, what happened? <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> this, this card is a colors incredible. Mm hmm. Corríame si está bien o no, porque tenía mi duda. This car uh, is incredible. With that, it, it's okay. Uh, ¿Qué me refería más bien al color? <laughs> y vuelvo a leer. Read it again. This car is a color incredible. Okay, so in that case will be this no. car has listen, this car has an incredible color. Okay. Next. That part is far from here. Okay. This accessory are the new cell phone. R4, the new cell phone. Those books are old. Okay, very good. Those books are old. All right, there you go. Thank you, Denise. Uh, Isabel. This is my brother. And that boy is my friend. Okay. He has to buy he has to buy this pencil. This pencil. He has to buy those pants. Okay, very good. Now let's jump on to the next one. Uh, eh, let me see. Brenda. This is my best friend. This teacher is very cool. Oh, uh, that supermarket is from is for from her. Yes, yeah. I has I has new this just new. She like white does vegetables. Vegetables. Does she like cook? With dust vegetables. You mean vegetales? Yes. Vegetables. That's the word. Vegetables. Okay. 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 Very good. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, now let me see Norma. I, I want to wear this red dress. Mm -hmm. Those birds fly very high. All right. These papers are in order. Okay, good. That elephant is very big. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. That elephant is very big. 
Okay, very good. Thank you, Norma. Now, Leonel. Yes, teacher. Let's read yours, please. Yes. <clears throat> this is cat is white. Uh huh. That car goes fast. Okay. I like. I like these shoes. Okay, good. Those, those stars are far away. Those good. stars are far away. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see next. Griselda. Can you please read yours, Griselda? Mm, that car is very fast. All right. I like these shoes. Laura bought those books. Okay. Those books. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Now, uh, Carla. <laughs> this cell phone is very big. That okay. supermarket is far from my home. Mm -hmm. I have to send this letter. I need to those pants. <laughs> okay, very good. There you go. Thank you. Uh, Diego. It is the small. My mom likes that car. I want to read it. However, she wants to see those shorts. No, right, so she wants to see those shorts. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Uh, Selena. Los cuatro ejem ejemplos, teacher. Yes. Los cuatro, teacher, solo uno. Uh, the four of them, los cuatro. Okay. The church is from the, the my house. Esta tengo duda, pero bueno. Uh, How time the TV is step on? Uh, read it again. How time uh, the TV is on? ¿Qué quise poner ahí? Selena? This shows a story. It, it is far. Mm -hmm. Ok. En la anterior a esa, ¿qué quiso poner, Selena? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? En la anterior a esa, en la número tres, eh, ¿qué fue lo que quiso poner? Ay, no la entiendo. Por <risa> uh, la señal. Ah, ok, ok. No, que si cuál era la intención o, o cuál era el mensaje que quería poner en la número tres. Um, ¿Cuánto tiempo pasa esa TV encendida? Ah, entonces ahí ya no sería how many, how many sino how much time. How tight? How that, much? That TV uh, is on. Okay. Eh, sería así, mire. De hecho, sería una pregunta esa, right? Y la última era sí. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. All right. So, just modify that one, ok? There you Pero go. está bien. Yeah. De ese modo, sí. That's ok. Flower tour. 
streets, they are for away under my house. Away my house. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, Sonia, I guess you finished already, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I read. Yes. This flower is beautiful. Okay. That, that black sheer are sheet. Okay. No sé si se pronuncia así, barato. Sheep. Sheep. Uh -huh. Okay. These cell phones are expensive. Okay, good. Those voters are big. Mm -hmm. Botellas? Bottles. 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 Okay, teacher, finish. There you go, thank you. Walter? Did you finish, Walter? Yeah. All right. I'm listening to you. Uh, vamos a ver si están buenas. <laughs> okay. The stereo is loud. I want to go to that beach. I want these toys for my brother. For my brother, okay. I need, I need to pick out those papers. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Uh, okay, quien me hacía falta? There was one person that said that they, she didn't finish. Wendy, uh, fue usted Wendy, la que me dijo que le hacía falta? This sofa is very comfortable. Comfortable, okay. That word uh, is, is very difficult. Okay. I want to have these exams mm -hmm. now. Okay. She needs those car for tomorrow. Okay, very good. Thank you, Wendy. And the last one, Edwin Ernesto. Um, I want to buy that cell phone. I need I need to send this book to school. Uh -huh. I want to buy those shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, rest remember, all right? One more time. This and that is for singular nouns. All right. And these and those are for plural nouns mainly. Okay. So try to keep guys uh, that on, on mind. Okay. Now I want you to go to the manual because we had a kind of activities to do, okay? There was un par de actividades en el manual. So let's jump onto the page. Uh, right now, we're gonna be uh, working on the page 19. The page 19. And you got it this way, okay? Good. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Listen up. Tenemos acá, básicamente, una serie de pasos para, no sé nada, para pedir algo en línea. ¿Ok? So, tenemos acá, credit cards information, confirm your information and submit, select the item to purchase, Go to the online webpage, write your billing address, check the price, 
confirm the method of payment and log into your account. Básicamente es una serie de pasos para solicitar algo en línea. Ok, what are we going to do? This is going to be the first activity that we're going to be working on. All right. Uh, I don't have money. <laughs> uh -huh. Ok. All right. So, what are we going to do? Los voy a mandar igual a trabajar en parejas. Y quiero que me ordenen paso a paso esta información sobre el proceso de cómo pedir algo en línea. Ok. In here. Me los van a colocar en este lado. From number one until number eight. Ok. For example, de todas estas... ¿Cuál sería el primer paso? Dice acá, credit cards information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the item to purchase. Go to the online webpage. Write your billing address. Check the price. Confirm the method of payment. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es la primera? Go to the online webpage. Go to the online webpage. Okay, very good. That's the number one, right? Go to the online web page. Okay, good. So follow up the sequence with your classmates. So I'm going to send you to work uh, on that activity. I will give you a couple of time, of minutes, and uh, then we're going to come back and check. So... ¿Qué número de páginas en el manual, teacher? 19. 19. Thank you. Okay. So let's go on that. All right, so besides Paulina, Indiana, everybody can participate, right? Todos están para participar, a excepción de Diana and Paulina. Okay. 19. So just give me one second, guys. I'm just going to move a couple of pieces in here. Number four. Number <laughs> okay, great. So let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work, guys. <laughs> Con todo para arriba, vendiendo recargas. Right, let's accept it. Diego, Wendy, Walter, Jorge, acepten por favor el unirse a la sala. Ah, espera, estaba escribiendo. Ah, ok. Fisher, no me aparece ahí donde para aceptar. Mm, give me one second, dame un segundo. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. La voy a redirigir para un, un, una sala y luego la voy a mover para donde tiene que estar, ¿ok? Te la acepto. Okay. Wendy, te la aceptar. 
Tal que no me aparece aquí. Mm, Tendría que, porque ya le estoy enviando la solicitud. De hecho, ya me mandó solita a trabajar porque nadie llegó. Ah, de hecho, acá le estaba mandando a Wendy. <ríe> no, hagamos algo. Wendy, listen up. Don't go. No se vaya. Hola. Trabajenme con Isabel acá, en la sala principal. Ok, porque veo que tiene problemas para poder acceder ahí. Entonces, eh, quédese acá con, con Isabel. Right. Y, y así no, 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 no se vaya a desconectar. Hoy oh, ya se fue. Se fue. <ríe> Entonces me voy. Give me one second. Ah, la voy a redirigir a otra sala. Porque sí, creo que... Ah, Jorge tuvo problemas. Creo que eh, se fue. Number four. Ingresar a la cuenta. Ingresar a la cuenta. Quiero ver. O confirmar método de pago. Sí, confirmar método de pago. Lo Lo into your account. Long into your uncle. Long into your Ingresar. Como ingresar a la uncle. Ajá, es como para, ingre, para ingresar a la plataforma, sería. Porque una vez que lo selecciono, sería primero elige qué va, qué, qué va a ver Luego Checa el precio, si me alcanza. <risa> luego selecciono. Y luego pues ya estoy lista para ingresar y empezar a dar datos. Sería long into your account. Pero la otra es, esta de si ustedes, el precio es como consultar, consultar el precio. Por eso, es lo, para mí sería lo segundo. Check the price. Check the price. Y el tercero sería... Bueno, cuando, cuando, the... habla como, como cuando habla como de ingresar a la cuenta, no estoy segura si ingresar a la cuenta de, de alguna cuenta de la página o de alguna cuenta como de, de banco, no sé. De, de, hecho, que tiene que, de hecho que tiene que ingresar a la plataforma de donde esté comprando para que pueda proceder a, 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 a seguir con los datos. Porque tiene que estar adentro de la plataforma ya de la tienda, pues en sí, para seguir con los siguientes pasos. De dar su Ajá. dirección. Sí, 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 sí. Y pa para mí, yo cuando compro en línea, lo último, lo último que doy es el, mi número de tarjeta. Primero, checo una y otra y otra. <risa> Entonces, eso sería el cuarto, sería ingresar a la cuenta. Para mí, sí, sería el long. Sería... Into your account. Lot, sería lot into your uncle. Yo, yo digo que sí, bueno, para mí, vea. La primera. Pero, ¿Cuál? Go to the online website. That's the first one, right? No, yo creo que la segunda es ingresar a la cuenta. ¿no? Y luego va la del precio. Ah. ¿no? Uh, Actually, actually, actually eh, ya vimos la primera, 
que decía no. que era go to the online web page. Ah. Go to the online web page. Uh -huh. Ajá, que es lo primero que se hace, right? Eh, entrar al, 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 a la página de internet. Hey, what happened to Wendy? Se fue. Se le fue la señal, mucha chica. <laughs> ok. Uh, but you said the second one, right? Uh, to log in into the, into the account. ¿Y eso sé qué es eso? Long into the account. In... Ingresar a la cuenta. Ok. So basically that, that would be the second yeah. step. Mm -hmm. Ok. Lo uh, siento, me sacó la aplicación. Yeah, no problem. No problem. All right, good. Ajá, ¿y qué? Entonces, okay. ¿cuál? Long into your... Entonces, la primera sería I go to the online website y la segunda sería... Long. Log into your account. Log into your, your account. Yeah. Y... Ajá, esa le decía yo que era la segunda porque era como ingresar a la cuenta. Y la tercera Ajá. sería la otra como chequear. Chequear ¿Qué? el precio. Check the price. Mm. No, no. Select no. the... Select the... The item to purchase. Exactly. Primero tiene que ver el artículo para saber cuál es el precio. Por eso la tres sería select the selección o qué quiero ver. Exactly. Ajá, uh -huh. select. La cual. Ah, ¿Qué pues. que sí, a ver. sí, según lo vamos traduciendo, pienso que, que así va. Estamos bien. Ya terminamos, Tiche. <risa> ¿Dónde está? <risa> Aquí. Aquí estoy. Es que no. Ah, es, que no. <risa> es que no tengo la cámara por eso. Ah, Cuando me bueno. manda aquí, me da opción. <risa> Ni me había fijado que no estaba encendido. <risa> Ok, vale. es que sí, es que, ah, ah, es que usted está, está compartiendo, pero no aparece en la pantalla lo que ha escrito. Ah, en mi cuaderno lo hemos escrito. <ríe> y leo en el de él. Ok, good. So, I want you to go down, ahora que ya terminaron eso, quiero que vayan, bajen, bajen la, bajen la pantalla, please. Go to the next page. ¿Y que baje qué? Que, que Yo creo que me salí en vez de bajar. ¿Qué hizo? Ah, salió. Es que yo no, es que yo, yo no, no entro a la plataforma, teacher. Yo le tomo captura a lo que usted nos dice que hagamos y ahí ponemos la fotito nada más. Ah, okay. No sé si Leo puede ingresar. Ok, ahorita. A la siguiente ah, página. Ya, yeah, go to the next page. Quiero que vayan a la siguiente página. Ahí está. Yo me voy a seguir. Ah, uh, ok. No, a esta parte acá. A esta parte de la página es acá. Van a encontrar esta serie de oraciones over here, ok. Lo que quiero con uh -huh. estas oraciones es que me seleccionen la que mejor complemente la oración. Si es do o that. Uh -huh. Si es do o that. Uh -huh. This, 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 this. ¿Cuál complementa uh -huh. mejor la oración? Ok. Seleccionen una. All right. Está bien. Perfecto. Vamos okay. a compartir la foto. Ok. Ok. Bye. <risa> Vaya, Leo. Ya <risa> listo, <risa> Confirmo. En el quinto y el sexto. El sexto no tiene que ser el quinto. Vamos a ver, ¿cuál tenés de quinto? El quinto tengo... 
Confirm, confirm the method of the payment. El sexto. El sexto credit card information. Vaya, es que, por ejemplo, donde dice confirma el método de pago, por lógica, por lógica si estás en línea, tienes que ir por tarjeta de crédito. Después registramos la tarjeta. Ajá, después de confirmar el método de pago, registras la tarjeta, pienso yo. Uh -huh. Por eso así está. De envío. Ah, pues está bien. ¿Qué opinas? Está bien. Confirma tu información y envío. Sobre la risa nomás. <risa> ok, let me see. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tienen en el número, por ejemplo, en el número 6? Number 6. Tarjeta de okay. crédito. No, Number six. Uh -huh. mm. Y en el número cinco, ¿qué tienen? Here, the method of the payment. The method of payment. Okay. Yeah. okay. Number five is like confirm the method of payment. Good. Pero el número seis... Mm, es más, write your billing address. Escribe. Write the billing address. Después del billing address, credit cards information. Y el último, confirm your, met, uh, your information and submit. El texto es el séptimo y el séptimo es el sexto. Yeah. Right. Modify that one then. Sí. Bueno. Cool. Modify them. Entonces modifíquenlos y luego bajan a la siguiente actividad. La siguiente es un tanto sencilla. Lo único que van a hacer es seleccionar si es those, that, those, that, this, this, or this, this, para completar la oración de manera apropiada. Ok. The next, uh, the next sentences that you get there. Ok. Okay. Nice. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Entonces, Ronald. Hi, Griselda. Hi, Norma. You finished? Hi, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Now that you finished, quiero que bajen a la siguiente actividad, donde dice, in context, dice parte eh, tres, circle the correct answers. Quiero que seleccionen ahí, de las dos letras en la iglesia. Y en la oración, quiero que seleccionen si la oración mejor la complementa those o that, this o this, ¿ok? Ok. That's for the next one. All right. And uh, below that one, if you have time for that, I want you to jump on the next one. Let me see. Una vez terminen esa, quiero que se vayan al ejercicio 5 de la siguiente página. Que igual, lo que van a hacer ahí es colocar that, those, this, and this, right? En cada uno de los espacios que tienen ahí de preguntas y oraciones, ¿ok? Recuerden, tienen que prestar atención más que todo en eh, el nombre, si es singular o plural. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, there you go. The eating parts check right. Confirm the model of payment. Credit card information. Where did you need address? Confirm the information. Too.
Está bien, teacher. I think the billing address goes before the card's information. First, uh, number six, write your billing address. And number seven, uh, the credit card information. Está al revés, las siete y las seis. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Las demás, that's the, all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Now, uh, if you guys have already finished, quiero que bajen a la siguiente, a la siguiente actividad. Okay. Uh, the next activity is básicamente de leer las oraciones y simplemente seleccionar si es those or that those, that, this, 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 right, on there, right, que lo único que tenemos que prestar atención ahí, básicamente a el nombre dentro de la oración, entonces ahí nos va a denotar si podemos usar those o that, ok, it's just circling, ah, ok, son right. cuatro y, yeah, ok, yeah. ok, great, Dennis and Sonia, did you finish? Hello. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Con Selena también. Okay. Ah, Selena. Ah. Y ya me está diciendo que ya casi son las nueve. <laughs> Very good. Okay, great. Now, antes de que nos vayamos a la sala principal, quiero que me hagan la siguiente eh, actividad. Number three. Quiero que me seleccionen si la oración mejor complementa la palabra those o that. ¿Ok? This o this. Right? Those four sentences. Just circle the one that you consider it is the correct one that best suit the sentence. ¿Ok? Okay, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Denise. Don't be sad. You're about to go to bed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sonia, dime copia. No, la copia no es permitida. You have already finished, right? Ya, ya lo tengo. Eh. Gracias, ya lo tengo aquí. Macho. Órale. ¿Pero es todo el manual o solo alguna? No, todo, todo el manual. Todo el manual. Entonces okay. me vengo a... Ajá. Ok, dice, nosotros decimos que ya terminamos. Uh, let's go to check them. Vamos a revisarlos entonces. See you in the main room, okay? Okay. Hey, it's missing the platicona, right? Hace falta la que mucho habla. Una de apellido. Paulina. Una de apellido Peña Ramírez por ahí. <risa> Por estar hablando mucho le, arran <risa> le arrancaron un diente de... <risa> Para que ya no hable me dijeron <risa> Sorry Ok Alright That was funny Bien, bien <risa> Hey, Leonel, ahora se me quedan los 10 minutos de feedback, ¿ok? Después de la clase. No, no se me vaya a ir, please. Está bien. Hey. Alguien me sacó de mi sala donde estaba. No sé quién fue. ¿Cómo fue? Nadie. Las venas ahora. 
quién es el de, esos, el de esas canciones ahí medio sad, man. Ah, El amor, el amor. Parrilla es el de eso. Ah, ok. Yo no soy chichero. I thought it was you. I was you, man. I thought it was you. No sé si Brenda estaba hablando, pero yo solo veía que movía la boca. Brenda, you got the microphone off. No sé si estaba hablando. Es que es mejor que no escuchen lo que diga. Ah, bueno, Brenda. Okay. okay. All right. So let's before before we go, let's check uh, the information that you guys uh, had in there. Okay, before we go. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna go and ask around. Uh, what's like you know like the methods that we have in there, right? The steps to follow. The first one, uh, you guys said that it was that it was uh, go to the online web page, right? That's number one. Uh, Brenda, what's number two? Number two is logging into your account. Log into your account. Very good. Evelyn, what's number three? Select a item to purchase. Select the items or items to purchase. Okay, very good. Maria, what's the next one? Check the price. Mm -hmm. Check the price. Very good. Uh, Ronald, what's the next one? You Ronald. Ronald. Confirm the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Okay. Okay. Good. Wendy, what's the next one? Uh... Why? Your billing address. Write your billing address. Yes. Okay. All right. So if you got write your billing address, Dennis, what's the next one? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Who is it? After write uh, uh, your billing address, what uh, is the next step to follow? Uh, confirm the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Do you guys, do you guys agree? Donde lloran está el muerto. Uy, ¿Cómo es la cosa? El que está diciendo que no tiene pista es el que más pista tiene. Ah, ok, good. ¿Y por qué le va a dejar Dios el Google? Lo ve. Hay un Dios que todo lo ve. Interesante. Por la celi que dice que ya acá son las nueve, no va a dejar el buzzle. Uh, ok, good. And the last one, it's just confirm your information and submit, right? Ah, ella era la que estaba diciendo que ya eran las nueve. Ah. Ok, ok. Interesting, I didn't know that. Vamos lejos, teacher. teacher. Vamos lejos, teacher. ¿Usted por qué anda en carro? Nueve con dos minutos, teacher. Va lejos de, la, está dormida, de la, está la cama. Y Selina ya está en la cama, man. más dormida que despierta. Hasta la voz del día que ya por el segundo sueño. <ríe> Hasta veíamos lo que soñaba ya a las pelinas. <ríe> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's going to be like like uh the last activity. By tomorrow we will continue with this ones. Mañana vamos a revisar esta parte, right? On on here and the last one that we got on the next page, right? So that is missing. So esa la vamos a tomar como un uh feedback or review 
de lo que hemos visto esta noche. Ok, so I will go ahead and pass the attendance list. Porque si no, Selena se me va a dormir. So give me one second. Que soy la primera que estoy present ya. <laughs> Good. Y que la deja después de la Ajá. clase. Selena ya no. Oh, ya me tocó. Ok. Se le pegan. Selena. Se le pegan si llega tarde. Ah. Con razón. Ok, Selena, ya, 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 ya puede irse para que no le vayan a, a, a pegar o regañar, ok. Thank you, teacher. A cenar voy por eso. Ah, ok, ok. Good. Bye, bye. Enjoy it. Bye, bye. Entre le con toda la pierna del pollo. Cristian Eduardo. Presente, teacher. Yeah. Provecho, dice. Denis Gerardo. Present. All right. Uh, Diana Carolina. Ok, so Diana está ahí, pero nunca me contesta Diana. I don't know why. Diego José. Present. Ok. Uh, Edwin Ernesto. Present, teacher. Ok, great. Edwin Leonel. Present, teacher. All right, uh, don't forget it, Win. Stay with me after the class, okay? Okay. Nice. Uh, Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Okay, great. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, nice. Jorge Antonio. ¿Qué se hizo, Jorge? Ah, it's there. Ok, good. Karen Lisset. Creo que la tormenta. Está <laughs> Ok, good. Let's move. Carla Patricia. Mi hija, Brenda, me van a decir ya por ahí. No me dejan ser. Ok, ok. Luis Humberto. Present teacher. Ok. Norma Jamilet. Present. All right. Paulina Olimpia. Present. Ah, ok. Despertó Paulina. Yo Paulina la escucho bien animada. Bien, como que le gustó que le cortaran la muela, ¿verdad, Paulina? <risa> como no hablaba, dice por eso. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, anda bien, bien eufórica. Ronald Ulises. Present. Ok, good. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Ok, great. Walter Enrique. Present. Good. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Ok. Uh, Janira Isabel. Present teacher. Ok, good. And the last one, Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Okay, great, guys. It was a pleasure to have you here in the beginning of the second week. Espero que tengan una excelente, una excelente noche. And let's see you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye guys. Right. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. See you. Bye, Brenda. <laughs> bye, Jorge. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night, bye. Brenda. <laughs> All right. Ok, uh, all right, uh, Leonel, básicamente este, este par de minutos adicionales es pues digamos para cada uno y, y básicamente consiste en aclarar cualquier consulta que usted pueda tener, you know, like related to this class or previous classes. So, I don't know, Leonel, si tenemos alguna duda con relación a las, a las estructuras que hemos estado viendo todos estos días. 
con respecto a todas. Ah. Sí, sí, aquí es un, eh, es, uh, digamos, como aclarar cualquier duda que usted tenga. Ah, porque en, en el tema de hoy, más o menos, si sí le entendí. Ajá. De algo me pierdo en el, en el how much, en el how many. Ah, ok, good. Bueno, vamos a ver un poco entonces eso de how much and how many. Let's use uh, each one of them. Ok. On this side, we are going to have how much? How much? And over here, let's write down how many. But how much? Cuando usar how much? Lo usamos con uncountable nouns. Uncountable. O sea, son nombres que no podemos contar. Por ejemplo, ¿cuáles son los nombres que no podemos contar? ¿Podría darme un ejemplo? Uh, el water. Ok, water. Water. Air. Air, ajá. Money, por ejemplo, la palabra dinero. Ajá. Money. Uh, oil, for example, milk. Oil, uh, milk. And, so you see, todas estas palabras no se pueden contar, ¿ok? Entonces, al momento de nosotros crear una pregunta con how much, vamos a colocar la estructura, how much, ¿ok? Y luego va un nombre de esos que no podemos contar, right? For example, how much water... Do you drink? Need a drink. Oh, drink, vaya, de tomar. ¿Cuánta, uh, cuánta agua eh, tomas o bebes? Entonces, acá usted puede decir, I drink a lot of water. Right? It's like, I mean, bebo bastante agua. So, you see? Aquí va a ir dependiendo de lo que usted vaya a preguntar. Por ejemplo, yo le puedo preguntar, How much uh, milk do you mm, what need? Need. Uh -huh. How much milk do you need? ¿Cómo sería su respuesta? Uh, I need. Uh -huh. I need. Ahí ya puedo poner este... Aquí, Como número, ¿vale? aquí puede poner una, un número siempre y cuando usemos una unidad de medida. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, okay. I need one bottle. One bottle, ajá. Bottle. Oh. Milk. Exactly. So you see? Entonces acá, siempre y cuando usemos una unidad de medida, ya podemos usar la palabra milk. Like that, right? Ahora bien, ayúdenme a hacer un ejemplo con el, la palabra money, please. How much money? Ajá. How much money? Okay. Bye. Ok, ¿cuánto dinero? Ahora, necesitamos un auxiliar. ¿La pregunta va a ser en primera o tercera persona? En primera. Vaya, entonces el auxiliar sería you. I mean, do, luego you. Ahora, deme un verbo. Ahí literalmente Bye. decimos cuánto dinero tú. Mm. Cuánto dinero tú. Pero si. Vamos a poner cuánto mm. dinero tiene. Ok, ok, ok. How? Uh -huh. How much money uh -huh. do you have? Uh -huh. 
All right, like, how much money do you have? ¿Cuánto dinero tienes? So, what will be your answer? Aquí podemos dar una respuesta contable. I have. Ajá, uh -huh, I have. Five dollars. Okay, five dollars. All right, so you got it like this. Y ahí tiene la respuesta. Right? Good. That one related with how much. Entonces, how much, recuerde, solo para nombres que no podemos contar. Ahora, por el otro lado, tenemos how many. And how many is for nouns that we can count. Aquí sí es para nombres que sí podemos contar. Okay? For example, cars, students, cell phones, computers. Todas sí. estas son nombres que podemos contar. ¿Correcto? Sí. Good. Ahora bien, la pregunta. Podemos hacer una pregunta como, por ejemplo, How many cars do you drive? For example, you see? ¿Cuántos autos sí. manejas o conduces? So, yo puedo decir, I drive... Sí. Uh -huh. mm, two cars, for example. You see? Mm -hmm. Ya tenemos una respuesta a esa pregunta, right? Now, hágame una usted, por favor, o dícteme una con cualquiera de los nombres restantes que tenemos ahí. How many students? Mm -hmm. oh. Ajá, uh -huh. that's like ¿Cuántos estudiantes? Están en clase Ok, how many students are there uh, in class? Ok Aquí usamos el verbo to be porque como dice cuántos estudiantes hay o están en la clase, right? Entonces ahí usamos el verbo to be. Entonces yo puedo decir there are, para decir hay, there are 21 students in class. Right? Yeah. O por ejemplo, How many computers does Leonel use? Ah, ¿cuántas computadoras usa Leonel? So, yo puedo decir, Leonel uses two or three computers. So, you see? Entonces, acá, básicamente, uh, acá sí podemos dar una cantidad exacta so, y usando el nombre, ¿ok? Sin un, ninguna unidad de medida, así como con, con los nombres incontables. Y acá recuerde que después de how many, la, el nombre tiene que ser plural. Y después del nombre en plural va do o does o are o is si es con el verbo to be, ¿ok? Ok. Yeah. Entonces, esta es la forma. No sé si hay alguna pregunta adicional con relación a esto, Leonel. Este, básicamente aquí... Como lo que alcanza a ver yo con estos ejemplos es que el how many se usa ¿Mm? más que todo cuando el, el nombre lleva... Está en plural, digamos. Correcto, correcto. Está en plural y sí. se puede contar. Más o menos, va. Uh -huh. Podemos decir que es como una, algo general, va. Correcto. Uh -huh. Las secciones. Uh -huh. Yes. Y el how much es cuando son. Cuando es algo singular, algo así, va. Correcto, correcto. Y que no podemos contar. Puede contar, ajá. Exactly, exactly. A menos que se use una unidad de medida. Yeah. Ah, sí. Yeah. Sí, entonces básicamente esas son las formas en cómo los podemos utilizar. Sí. Bye, time. There you go. Very good.
me alegra que ahora ya estemos un poco más claros con relación a eso, Leonel, ¿ok? Sí, está pensando bastante en eso. Toma la forma. That's good. No, igual, toda vez que vayamos generando así algún tipo de duda, igual, pierda cuidado, encienda el micrófono y pregunte, porque la idea es que todo vaya quedando claro, ¿ok? Sí, hay That's que practicar. Exactly, we gotta practice that. La práctica es... Okay. Okay, bye. All right. Okay, bye. There you go, Leonel. Thank you for, uh, for the extra minutes. Good night, and let's see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, good night. Okay, bye-bye.